I'm just warning you guys now, this is going to be like a chaotic video. I'm sorry. But in today's video, I'm going to be going over everything that I've crocheted for my upcoming market and going over my prices. Uh, you guys love this video. If you're new here, this is like the most popular videos on my channel. Um, so this Saturday starts my market season. So this is my first market of the fall season. So my name is Jackie Chaplin. I'm the owner of the crochet business where I sell online on my Etsy and in person at markets. Uh, like I said, the aforementioned market is on Sunday or Saturday and a different one on Sunday. Uh, and today is Thursday at like 530 in the evening. So this is like the only day I have to film this video. Um, I could film tomorrow, but I try not to do like any market stuff tomorrow. So I need to film this video now so I can like pack up my stuff. So it's like all ready to go. And then tomorrow I don't have to like do anything market related. Now, some like housekeeping stuff. You guys may have noticed the name of the channel changed. That is because I changed the name of my business. We are no longer Cotton Baby Crochet. And I say we, but I mean me because this is like a one man band situation. Um, yes, it did not fit. I don't make baby things. I picked my name when I was like starting my business and thought I would be making baby things. Uh, and I do carry some of that stuff, but the vast majority of stuff I carry are plushies that adults tend to actually buy as like a whimsical gift for themselves or for their friends. Uh, and majority of my sales on Etsy are custom orders for adults that are looking for like a nice gift for themselves or for a friend. So I just picked something that was more in line with that and not what I thought I was going to be doing, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm also, for the first time, going to be showing you guys that are not new here the things that I bring to my markets that are not crochet related. It's just one small section. Uh, and you'll notice that that stuff is pretty much entirely branded with my old logo. So I have that stuff like heavily discounted. And then some of this stuff is slightly branded. Like I've got these price tags with stuff that's in line with my new uh, logo and business name and my like mystery bags which we'll be talking about in like five seconds has like my new logo on them uh, I don't have a new banner yet I just got done putting in the order for that right before I click go on this video and I don't have my new business cards yet but they are ordered and on the way and I still need to redesign new shirts because I personally and now this is absolutely just a me thing I feel like not that many people at markets do this but I like to wear like a market uniform, which consists of like a branded shirt. And then I usually wear bike shorts because it's Florida and it's hot and they have like pockets on the side for like my phone uh, or my keys to my like lockbox. Uh, if I go away, I like hide the lockbox and like bring the keys with me. So it's a little bit of a mess right now as we're transitioning over, but I just wanted to explain that. And now we're going to get into the mystery bags. I know you guys were like waiting for that. I have three different price range for my mystery bags. I'll tell you, this is the only stuff that I'm telling you and not fully showing you because they're already made and like stapled. But you can see mm, the vast majority of these items I have a second of uh, over in like my market stuff. So you'll be able to like figure out what is what. But all of my mystery bags have three items in it. They are a mix of like plushies, like made with actual blanket yarn. And worsted weight, most of the worsted weight stuff is made with uh, the yarn held double. So it's a little bit bigger, obviously, than it would be if it was single stranded. The bags themselves are less than the price of all the items combined in the bag. So most of the stuff that went in it is stuff that I'm trying to like unload. There's nothing inherently wrong with it, but it's just stuff that I really don't want to make more of. So this seemed like a good way to get rid of it without like going crazy and like heavily, heavily discounting it and throwing it in like my clearance bin. So in the first pack, we have a mini whale that's worsted weight, a mini pumpkin that's plush yarn and uh, my witch hat. And I'll link the patterns for this stuff below. The witch hat's my pattern. It's worsted weight. It's a keychain. The retail price of that bag is $20. That bag is gonna actually cost $10. The second $10 bag has a mini worsted white whale, a mini plush frog, it's KDB and Creatives frog, and a mini octo in worsted weight. That's uh, an all from Jade pattern. 
The retail price of that bag is $23. Like I said, it's being sold for $10. The next bag has a Weeby Alien in it, a mini chunky frog that's an all from Jade product. It's made with worsted weight yarn, held devil, and a mini crab, which I think is also all from Jade. The retail price of that bag is $33. I'm selling it for $20. Then the next bag has uh, a plush duck. An ice cream, which is Katie Bain Creative's uh, mushroom pattern that I then put like a band around it and was selling as a mushroom for like a hot second until I made my own mushroom pattern that I like better. So now I call them ice creams because you'll see them over there. They look like little ice creams. We're calling it an ice cream in the bag. And there's also a mini worsted weight whale. The retail price of that bag is $36 and I'm selling it for $20. Uh, the next bag has a worsted weight sunflower turtle, a uh, chunky boy mushroom, plush yarn, and a plush bee. The retail price of that bag is $52, and I'm selling it for $25. The reason why that one's so high is because the sunflower turtle, I'm super slow at making turtles, so it's a $25 item in and of itself, but no one wants to pay $25 for something that's this big, so I've had it for many a market, and I'm done with it. So it went in the bag. Uh, the next bag has a glow in the dark ghost, a plush bee, and a plush penguin. The glow in the dark ghost is worsted weight glow in the dark yarn. The retail price of that bag is $47 and it's being sold for $25. So to sum up, I have two $10 bags, two $20 bags, and two $25 bags. And that's my mystery bag. So I have kind of a mock setup going. It's like Obviously not full because I don't have the room in here, but this is more or less how the table will look. I'll go through what's like kind of change. And, and then this is my grid wall situation. So I'm going to do like an L shape thing. This is going to be the back wall. And then this is going to be along the side. And then I'll probably sit opposite of this on the other side and my chairs. And I have like director style chairs because they sit higher up and I'll link these. But I meant to tell you guys that you should have chairs for your event. Now, some events, you won't spend a lot of time sitting because they'll be super busy. busy. But obviously, if it's a slow event, you're going to want to have the option of a chair. And most people do camping chairs, but I feel like camping chairs sit like way too low. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. We have this mermaid. It is $30. These whales are $15. This cactus is $22. This axolotl is $22, and this one's $20. They are the same pattern, but this has fancier eyes and a face, and I used a bigger hook size, so it came out bigger. So this is what I mean when I've, like, in other videos, talked about my pricing strategy and how it's a little bit different. I take my time into account, and I take my materials into account, but I do it a different way than most people. Instead of, like, weighing the yarn out to the gram and accounting for it, if I want to make say, I don't know, $15, $16 an hour, I will, when I'm timing myself, charge for like 18 because those extra like 2 or $3 will more than account for the yarn, the filling, and the like eyes on a plushie. Uh, so, you know, that's how I do it. If you guys don't like that, you are totally welcome to price however you want, but that's how I do it. And when I'm done, I also take size into account. For instance, this is the same pattern as this, but I charge less for the smaller version than I do for the bigger version because I feel like in the eyes of the customer, there's like a size perception thing. So something this big shouldn't cost the same as something this big. So I account for that too. And like I said, this is just how I do it. And you guys are welcome to be as technical as you want. The only thing I recommend is make sure however you're doing your pricing strategy, you're accounting for time, materials, and that's really it, I guess. Yeah, time and materials. Uh, so you can keep your business running. You don't want to ever be running at a loss because that's not a sustainable business model. So yes, that's why that one's 20 and that one's 22. Should be a little so we have these Weeby Aliens and this No So Astronaut. I think it's Meg Makes Crochet or something is the Etsy, but I love these patterns. I am doing 15 for them, and they're individually priced, 
like they have price tags on them. But to make things a little simpler, because these are all the same price, they get a nice little label. And I put the labels off to the side so you can at least see one of the products like fully. Because if I put it in like the middle of this one, you'd only see like half a B and half a B. And that's just like not good for sales, I feel like. But that makes it easier because these are stacked. So you can see the $6, the little Bs are $6 and the big Bs are $12. So no one has to go like dig in to figure out. Then we have some penguins and some more penguins down here. The penguins are 15. Then we have um, Craftsco Blooms, Chip the Chick. She has this pattern on YouTube, I'm pretty sure, but I bought it on Etsy. So my chickens are 15 bucks and I have that label here. I've got two in this size and then three in this size for the style. This is a different designer, but I don't remember her name. Um, but yes, all my chickens here are 15. This one is 25, I think. Yes, and this is 25, this little hummingbird. Uh, and we'll go back up here for a second. This is a pattern from Ribbler. They used felt for the face previously, so it was no sew. I, full disclosure, did sew this on, but obviously sewing on one part doesn't take that long. And he's $10, because he's like kind of a good size for being a small item. Um, so yes, 25, 25, 15. We did those guys. Now let's get into dinosaurs. All of the dinosaurs in this bin are $15. I'm calling these my small dinos. These are the crochet club or club crochet no so no so triceratops. This and this are the pocket dinos from Etsy. And this is a no so dino from Ribbler. I then made my own dinosaur pattern based off this one and this one. They're like bigger versions. And if you're familiar, she doesn't necessarily have you like sew the arms on, but she has you like slip stitch them on and mine never look right. So when I made my version, I made them stand up more first because those dinosaurs lean too far forward. They fall over on their own. The only reason why they're not is because I got their tails like tucked in to like in it to hold it. Um, so mine stands up more and these are like bobble stitch arms. So I like it better. And then he has more horns and it's just generally shaped a little bit different. This pattern is already on my Etsy. This one's not. Uh, my pattern testers were like lovely enough to catch my mistake in this one. So this is why we test. But about these dinosaurs, this first row I'm calling medium dinos and they are $20. Uh, I made this one in a video, which I can link, but this is a pattern from Etsy. This is the same as this. So this is also my pattern, but this is how big it comes out with the blanket yarn held double. And these two big boys here, Bronto the Dino and the T-Rex are $30. They're the large dinos. Then we have an assortment of Octos down here. These are $5 uh, no-so, all from Jade Octos. These are $7 no-so, all from Jade Octos. These are $9 plush no-so, all from Jade Octos. These are the same patterns. But again, this is where I like price different by size. They take the same amount of time, but because this comes out bigger, I price it bigger, larger, more. Um, so these are nine dollars. Then we go over here. This is Sweet Softies. These are eleven. This is Sweet Softies and plush yarn. It's thirteen. Nope. Yep. Yeah, it's thirteen. Uh, and I should have made a sign for him. Yeah, whatever. I could sell them for eleven if that comes to pass. He is tagged though. Uh, and then I've got this guy on here for 12. Yeah, it's 13. So dang, I messed up the sign. Noted. I'll fix that. Or, well, we'll figure that out later. I'm like thoroughly like ready to be done and packed up. These are what I'm calling my deluxe plushies for this event. This is cable and canvas on Etsy. Uh, she has basically become the mascot of like my new business name. Then this is the Loso Flamingo by Katie Dids. It's 35. This guy is 50. The duck with the 
frog floaty. The chunky boy mushroom is 75. And this is 100. It's a teacup gnome. Uh, you can kind of see them. So, yes, that's my deluxe set. I have strategically put it up high because, well, I personally would never like make a mom pay for something like a kid ruined because like I know I used to be poor and like sometimes kids just be like wild and it happens and like you can teach them like all you want but like at the same time they're just kids so they might be eating a blue slushy and then like touch something and get blue slushy on it um but if they did and like I could see the like fear in the mom's face because she like can't afford it uh, I wouldn't like make them pay you know, like, that's just me. But I would hate to like not make them pay about something like that size and that expensive. Like, I'm not going to be like heartbroken if like a $12 thing gets wrecked and I can't sell it, but I'd be a little salty about this. So I just put my like higher stuff or my higher price stuff up top. So it'll hopefully keep kids out of it and mean like anybody who's not at least carrying 25 bucks doesn't even bother like touching that stuff because why would you? If you don't have the money on you. You feel me? Um, then these are my mystery bags. The $10, the $20, and the $25, obviously. And they are kind of in the style of my new name. This is all my fall stuff. These mini pumpkins are $12. Or er, the mini pumpkins are 6 The big pumpkins are 12 Now let me explain something about my patterns for those real quick. I have a no so Halloween pattern pack. It includes this guy and this guy and that guy, a different ghost, and the pumpkin. Um, it does not include the modification to do the cinnamon stick pumpkin. It only includes the like regular crochet stem. But the individual version of that pattern includes this stem and how to do the cinnamon stick stem. And that's because I like broke them up after I sold the like full pack first. Uh, so just like keep that in mind. If you are specifically looking for the cinnamon stick stem by the individual pumpkin pattern and not the pattern pack. Uh, yeah. So this is $10. It's my Nosa Witch Hat. He's 20. He's 20. Or he's 20. She's 20. That's Frankenstein and Candice, aka Candy Corn. Uh, so both $20 items. This bat is not my pattern, but it's $15. This ghost is my pattern, unreleased, $25. Based off of this big boy here, that's $35. Um, it didn't look this big in the picture, but then I made it and it was huge. So I scaled it down and made my own version. Uh, and I want to put this in a pattern pack with my like Pac-Man style ghost. Um, and then this just says Freddy Krueger on the tag and not a price. So I don't remember what video I set it in, but I'm basically treating him like a game because I made him. And then I remembered, wow, that's trademarked. I can't do that. Um, but I don't want to like hold on to him because I have no reason to do that, but I technically can't legally sell him. So I'm making it a game. He's the only thing out of everything that doesn't have a price on him. And whoever picks him up and asks is just going to get him for free. Isn't that fun? Okay, moving down here to the fruit section, food section. So we have mini fruits. Those are all $9. Milk and cookies are tied together. That's a $20 set. The ice creams, that's the KDB and Creative Mushroom pattern that I modified that I decided I didn't like as a mushroom. Now they're ice creams and they're super cute. They've got little faces. Uh, they're $12. I've decided to sell this little dumpling with the pot, the steamer pot, and with the steamer pot, it's $25. Then we have a $25, no, $20 gummy bear, yellow, and a $25 carrot. So that's it for food. And then we go over here. It's kind of like an assortment of stuff. These are my mini mushrooms from my own mushroom pattern. I've got a tutorial for that. But if you want the printed version, you could buy it on my Etsy. $11. This acorn is also $11. It's the same pattern designer as this. 
and this uh, Cable and Canvas, I think is the name. But yeah, it's called like Pop Acorn. So it's also $11. It's a little bit faster to make. Um, these pot mushrooms are obviously $13. These Chunky Boy mushrooms are $15. Big Leggy Frogs, I'm doing $12. Baby Leggy Frogs, I'm doing $10. These Octos are $15. This Laying Down Axolotl and the Seal are both $20. Uh, this is my daughter's seal, so if it sells, she gets the money for that. So this isn't, like, not included in my final counts, which I'll share with you at the end of the video. Uh, these three turtles are all $20. This is from a YouTube video. This is kind of like a modified version of the YouTube video. And then this one I just kind of, like, made up. But it's like a pumpkin turtle. Isn't it cute? These two turtles are both 35 this is all from Jade uh, Tessa Tortoise or something. Uh, it's a land turtle. Or a land tortoise. I'm sorry. And this is a sea turtle. This is crochet by Jenna. And then this is all from Jade, but her sea turtle version. And it's 45. She's like pretty big. Uh, and it's sunflower style. You can kind of get the general idea. Like that's my hand. It's like smaller than the shell. That's a $45 turtle. Then this is my last of my like grid wall stuff. Those three cows are all 35. I'm trying to like figure out a no so cow, either as like a pattern that I make or a pattern that exists like already. The closest no so that I found that exists already is the middle, but I also feel like I don't love it. But then the closest I came is low so where you like have to sew on this new and like the horns, but the rest of it is like crocheted on. Um, and that was kind of inspired by like Charlie the cow. It's like a low sew pattern. Um, but yeah, I changed a lot of stuff. I changed how the ears are done, the arms are done, the legs are done. Pretty much like the only thing that's not changed is this new and the horns. And I might've even changed like the snoot part. I don't remember now. Or maybe I just moved the location. I don't know. Whatever. You guys will know if a cow pattern comes out because I'll tell you. But I'm working on that because I hate making cows, but cows always do good. So I'm trying to stop more of them. There they are. Uh, I made some possums. I don't remember the middle possum. It was like a free Instagram pattern, but I don't remember the account's name. But this is Crochet by Jenna. Um, it is obviously slightly smaller, if you can tell. It's got less rows here. I just used a smaller hook here, so they look like they're the same size. But this is actually a slightly smaller pattern. Um, I do like it, but I don't know. Moving on. Uh, then I have, or did I say the price on these? These are 15 35 for the cows, 15 for these. These are also 15 They're hippos, they're no so. This frog, I drastically dropped the price on. So I think when I started doing markets, he was 40. And then I dropped him to 35. And now he's 25. Now before anybody comes at me like, oh, you're undercutting yourself, time, materials, blah, blah, blah. I priced him at 40 because he was one of the first things I ever made for market prep. Uh, and he's not sold in that whole, whole time. But as you could see, he's almost basically like a simple sphere. And while there is a little bit of sewing involved, because those like parts are sewn on. I think now if I made them again, I can't foresee that taking more than like two hours. So I think like $25 is a little bit undercut because I am at this point trying to get rid of him because there's a different frog I want to make, but it's not as undercut as it sounds. Uh, even though I knocked off like a fair amount of money, I just am faster now and therefore he would be made faster. This mushroom here is one of the big version of the pot mushrooms. It is 20, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, and then I got my hairy otter. Now, as far as trademark goes, and I'm not a lawyer, so don't listen to me, but I'm pretty sure there's like legal ground for it. You're allowed to do stuff like spoof art. So that's why I carry and sell hairy otter. He is 25. Uh, if I was selling just the otter, it would probably be $15. But I'm dumb, and I did that scarf. And you notice there's color change, color change, color change, color change, color change, all the way around. 
and that left me like 150 friggin' tails to sew in. So that scarf alone took more time than the otter. So I have to price it for 25. And if I make them again, uh, I'm gonna do like horizontal and not. I guess those are horizontal, but I don't know. I'm gonna do long stripes. So there's like three or four tails to sew in, and not like 5,000 because of that kind of stripage. You feel? And then Frankenstein. That was originally a book by Mary Shelley, but Frankenstein is in the public domain. So, like, fair game to make Frankenstein stuff. Legalities of this kind of business. Now we'll move over here. This is my table. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm doing an L shape, but this is just to kind of get everything on the table. And it'll look a little more put together once it's, like, cleaned up and I've got the tablecloths on, but here we are. So, I've got soaps. These are branded soaps. They literally have my business card in there. I just thought they'd be, like, fun. I was going to give them away as like free gifts with like orders, but I never ended up doing that. So now I've just been trying to unload them at my markets, but I discounted them because they're like the old logos. And then these were like leftover favors from my uh, gender reveal with Judah that we ended up canceling because um, I got the COVID and Zach got the COVID. So we just canceled our gender reveal. So trying to unload that stuff. If you make soap, don't come for me. I know it costs more than that. That's just my stuff that I'm trying to get rid of. I do make these rattles. They're like a vintage style rattle. Uh, I sell them for $15. I don't make these, but these are silicone teether rings. This is part of like the baby stuff that I was carrying. Um, I have these priced at $3. And then this is candles. These candles are cool. Um, and let me see about opening one. Uh, I wish you could smell that. It's like nice and citrusy. There's like a few different scents in here. They're not labeled scent wise, um, but they do have hidden crystals in them. So like a small stone. Um, and I don't remember which ones I put in there, but in the purple candle, there's like amethyst and the red candle has like red jasper, that kind of vibe. So these are cool. I probably should have put crystal candles, but I didn't and I'm leaving it. If they don't sell, at the next for the next market i'll like edit this but it's too late i've already gone too far and i'm done with it my scrunchies i used to call you know six dollars or two for ten but i figured i'm just gonna make them all five and just like move on with life and this is the assortment of colors we have right now there's 21 in here total i'm pretty sure um there's still a little bit shedding but that stops and i tell customers who notice and like comment most of them shed a little bit at first, but I've had one that I've been using for, I don't know, six months. So it's like well past the shedding stage and none of this has like came out. I wonder if I just didn't finish cutting this. Let me just adjust that. I won't fix that, but I do need to fix that because that's a problem. Now these are the ear warmer headbands that I've been promising you guys a tutorial for for literally ever but I also might not stock these anymore because I think they're cute and I've sold some but I live in Florida so it's not winter here until like January and then by like February it's like warmed back up again um so I just don't know that like my region is the best for this so I sent a lot of these like up with my mom who's doing a market in October and lives in Missouri uh, and she's going to sell some on my behalf and like give me the money if they sell. And I think she's going to do better with them there because like they have winter in Missouri and we just don't in Florida. Um, but if I do get to the point where I make more, I promise when I make more, I will film it. I just at this time can't justify taking time to do a tutorial for a product that like I might not continue to stock. So like, I'm sorry I said I would. And I've like made a liar out of myself. But like I promise you, if these sell, or even like half of these sell, and I decide I want to restock for like this winter season, I will film me making them. Um, but also, and I'm not offended if you go find like another channel, I learned how to do these via YouTube tutorials. So like this already exists, and I'm not offended if you like go into the YouTube box and like Google, you know, Addy Knitting Machine Headband. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I will, if you want an Addy machine to like try them out, even if you use a different tutorial, I will link those below too. 
I've got both versions, the big and the small. And for these, thankfully, you only need the small, which is the cheaper version. Uh, and you can use the Centro too, which is even cheaper. I cannot vouch for the quality of the product, but I've heard good things, so I can link those below as well if you want the more budget-friendly thing. But I personally have experience with the Addies, and I've made various things on them, uh, including these headbands, and I like them, and I've never had an issue. Um, oh, I gotta get my, like, little cast iron pan. I'm gonna put these in here. I brought back the eggs. I've got a cute little angry egg and a little happy egg and a chicken nuggy in a chicken nugget box. These three are ten dollars. I did remake this one. Because look at me being stupid. That does not say ten. This is a hundred dollars. So yes, I did remake that. I just haven't fastened it yet. And then we have an assortment of keychains. Now if you're wondering what these are, I've talked about these in another video. These are marble fidgets. There's a marble in them, and you can push the marble around the track. So this is a circle track, and it's kind of hard to pick up, but you can just like push the marble in a circle. These are like zigzag style tracks. So it's like up in the corner, and that's going across, and then it comes down here, and then down here. Same with that one, so it's a slightly smaller version. And then this one is also a marble fidget, but it's just simple like back and forth and back and forth. Uh, these are silent fidgets. I feel like they're good for, like, students, people who need to, like, have something quiet because they're in a class. I think these are perfect. I was selling them originally, like, as is, no keychain, but I decided I was going to turn them into little keychains, and they are actually color-coordinated with the color of the fidget. So the pink's on pink, the yellow's on yellow. These are my jellyfish keychains. This whole row is $8. These octos, this B, they're also eight dollars. This whale is twelve, I think. Because these tiny whales, I feel like, take longer than they look. Yeah, twelve. I ran out of freaking tags, and I'm mad about it. And then I still had to like make a few tags, and I so like I hate that. That gives me like anxiety. But I ran out of tags. I've got like a thousand on the way. And they'll be here tomorrow. So if that still is bothering me, like day of market, I'll like make a tag real quick. But yeah, that's what happens when you like decide you're going to fully like overhaul how you were doing things. And you took off like 200 tags just to like trash. You run out quick. These are obviously not crochet. They actually are meant to like go on hats. I've got like a little box over there. And I was going to... Put them on hats that I made with my knitting machine, but since the uh, ear warmer style isn't selling very well, I decided uh, they would probably not sell that well either. And I'm gonna make them at least some into keychains and see how that goes. And I have these priced at ten dollars, and these wristlet style keychains are also ten dollars. Then we turn it around. These mugs are fourteen. This is eight. This is 12, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. These are 14, and then these two are 10 again. It's not very organized, but it is like what it is. I like, I've gone too far. I can't do anymore. Uh, and then I have my little mirror that I like always have. So if anybody wants to like try on a headband, um, I normally have like a display wearing a headband but that would only leave me three to sell because the like foam head wears the adult size uh, and I didn't want to do that so I'm like foregoing the adult or for foregoing the uh, foam head that's one less display I'm also foregoing the like mug tree that these normally hang on um yes yeah, so as far as displays go like this really is it I probably am going to make a couple of signs to add, like my custom orders. Oh, there's like a dog kennel on the floor. I almost just died. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to make a couple of signs to just put on this table somehow. Uh, that says like I do custom orders and like the payment methods I take because I like to, you know, let people know that. 
But as far as signage, like, that's it. I'm not trying to be, like, over the top anymore. You know, Mark is, like, sucked my soul out of my body. It's, like, a lot of work. I won't lie. But, yes, that is it. Now that everything's been tagged, price tagged, got put on my paper inventory, got put in my square, uh, which I have a video, if I didn't say, of how I do my inventory and, like, how to use a square reader if you don't have one. Uh, the only thing left to do, since I've now filmed this video, is, like, pack it all up. And that's going to be a little more time consuming than usual, but better in the long run. Because, as I was just saying, I've, like, eliminated some of my displays. So I, like, literally only want to bring the things I need, of course. Uh, I'd be crazy to not do it like that. Uh, so I've got to go through the bins that I have over there, like, one by one. And figure out what I'm taking, what I'm not taking. And, like, downsize and organize. So that'll be time consuming. So I gotta get Zach back here so he could do dinner and he could help with that. And yeah, I'm out of breath and I'm tired. But thank you for being here and um, subscribe if I didn't say it. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Fingers crossed. I think it'll be a good market. Uh, this one I did back in like April and it was one of my better markets. Uh, and that was like in April. And spring tends to be, spring and summer tends to be like a little bit slower uh, sales for most businesses. Obviously, if you like do pools, like you're the like exception to the rule. Um, but then fall time stuff starts ramping back up because like holiday gift given seasons. Uh, so if I did like $300 then, I think I could pull like at least $500 now. So that's my goal. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys my totals. Okay, so I have two different totals for you because I added up my crochet inventory and like my total inventory. So total inventory, I have 279 items, total value of $3,518. Now just my crochet and I guess knit. I Let me rephrase, just my yarn items that are handmade by me. Uh, I have 228 items, total value of $3,135. So yes, that's all my inventory, everything. Um, I hope it sells, but I also hope it doesn't sell like too, too much because like I've been building up inventory like all summer. Um, and I have two markets this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And then in October, I have like four in total because I have markets over two weekends. Um, but they're both two day markets. So I guess two total markets, but four market days. So yeah, if I like sell too much, it's really going to like hinder my life. <laughs> uh, yeah. And now tomorrow I'm looking forward to just being able to chill, focus on my Etsy orders and my writing jobs, which I didn't even get to today because my kids were being nuts. Oh, and unrelated. This is the Stars Hollow, like, Gilmore Girls picture book. You guys know I'm, like, a Gilmore Girls nerd. Uh, I usually have it on the background while I'm doing some work if I'm not listening to, like, a book or something. Um, so I seen this on Instagram, and then I just had to have it there because it's, like, cute, and it's Gilmore Girls. So it doesn't mean no good, but I'll link it for you guys if you want it, if you're a Gilmore Girls fan, too. Like, I literally have a Gilmore Girls quote tattooed on my arm. But, yeah, that's just me. Unrelated. Uh, and I'll be done now. If you guys want to watch more crochet content, you can check out this video right here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.